I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is September 7th, 2017, and in this video, I'm going to be installing a new 2 terabyte uh, FireCuda drive into my new Asus GL753 laptop that I just bought a few weeks ago. Uh, this is going to replace the 1 terabyte drive that it came with by default. Okay, so I got the laptop out. So this is an Asus GL753VE, and I needed to replace the uh, hard drive. I got to take the take it apart. So I got to take the back off, and there's 11 screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten that are very apparent. There's the 11th one hiding underneath here. So let me uh, just start taking these all apart. Okay, then finally the weird one here, you have to pull this back. There's that guy. Now you need to separate this from the back. I kind of like this tool. I was working the, the um, not spatula, a little, the other tool I was using before, but this one works pretty well. It's from iFixit, one part of their toolkit. You gotta get in here and just start separating that just gently. And then once you get about two sides off, you can kind of wiggle this one. Just gently and it'll kind of, should pop off. There you go. Okay, so there's the guts of it. So, here is the M2 drive I just replaced recently in another video. And here's my secondary drive that I'm going to replace. Now, out of the box, it's only got two screws. It's got that screw there, and this screw here to hold in the caddy. Let me take those out. Had I stab myself. Okay, there's one. And two. And here you kind of pull it up on this end a little bit, and then pull it, and just pull it out. You can see it's attached just right there. So all you gotta do is just gently pull it out. And you got the rails here. So I got four bolts. One, two, three, four, that I just need to take out. You know, one way to make this simple is just to take one side off so you can match it up and make sure you're attaching it to the correct side of the other one. It's a really simple way to do it. Okay, so there's those two. And that just takes that one side off. And now what I'm going to do is show some quick measurements. Here is the new, dri new drive that I'm putting in there. I don't have a metric calipers, but I got a English inch one, and so it's about 2.75 over 2.7, yeah, 2.75. Which, if you put it on here, and I got 0.275 inches over here, and I'll show that in the screen, and that's and it has it's about seven millimeters. That's a, that's what they advertise it as, and that's what it is. Now, the one I'm pulling out, I'm guessing it's probably the same thickness, yeah, I mean. Show that, yeah, it's point, yeah, about point two seven five. But also, I wanted to show that there's a little room. See, there's a little extra room down there. So I don't know how much more room. I'm gonna go measure it real quick and see how big a drive could you, in theory, get in on this caddy. I don't know. Let's go measure it. So I flip that so you can see it. So how big could we, in theory, go? So that is 0.39 inches, roughly. And if I enter that in, it gives me 9.9 millimeters. So I guess you're safe putting a nine millimeter in here if you want to, but those, they have those some that are like 12 and a half. I don't think that's gonna fit. Okay, so now I got this rail, which is gonna be opposite of the other one. There we go. So I will 
Take that, flip it over to match, and then we'll start attaching it. Okay, so I got that side on. Let me go take the other side off of this guy. Okay, it's all back together, and this should go in pretty easily. Just kind of tilt it down a little bit, just a tad, and then just kind of push it in. And then I reattach those two points. That's in there good. I'm gonna put the back on. Put the screws back in. That might snap a little bit. Should snap into place. Start with this guy in the middle. Let me put all the rest of the screws in. Okay, now let me start her up and see what else I need to do. Okay, so reboot the machine and now the drive's not sharp because it's not formatted. Let me see what we have in Windows 10. So I'll search for format drive. Uh, there we go, create and format hard drive, hard disk partition. So I'll click on that, open that guy up. And there we go, you must initialize the disk before logical disk manager can access it. Okay, so I will just hit OK. And there we go. So there's that guy. So let me just do a new simple volume on that. Hit next, next. Kind of mount it as. Oh, D's not showing up. To go fix that later, I guess. Leave it as E for now. Next. And yeah. call it something. Hit next and finish. And there we go, there's my new drive. So now I just need to fix it because I don't want it to be E, I want it to be D, but let me say change letter path, change. Okay, I wonder why I lost my D, something using D. Okay, well, I'll go figure that out. But anyway, so there's the hard drives installed. It's working. It's there. Uh, next thing I need to do is go run some tests on it. Okay, I forgot about the DVD ROM. So that's actually taking the D drive. So let me go fix that real quick. So I'll click on that, go to properties or not. Go to change drive letter. There we go. I will change you to something else. And yeah, I guess I'll change you to E, F. Okay, I'll change this guy to change you to D. Yeah, 
Uh, change it back one day. So then I got set up the way I want. So I got my C drive, my main drive, my D drive is now this drive. Uh, I'll run a crystal disk mark against it. So let me open this up and go to the D drive. And I'll put this up here. And I also superimpose, I did a test on the original drive. Uh, and I'll just show what the results of that were next to it. So let me go run this real quick and let's see what the results are. Okay, there we go. So by comparison, I was getting about 103 read, 111, now I'm getting 147. In the right, I was getting about 89, 66, now I'm getting 134. So big improvement uh, compared to what I have, and it's fine for a secondary drive. Now, a much better choice for speed-wise would be to get an SSD uh, secondary drive, but they're a little cost prohibitive. Not too bad, but uh, this drives a lot cheaper than those. Uh, but anyway, so that's what I have, so cool. That's that's how you install a new secondary hard drive on an Asus GL753, and there are the stats on this particular drive, the Fire CUDA, to show how fast it's going. So, bigger drive, and it's faster, so good. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username patmandenver. Or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.